So what do you think are the most critical steps that co-ops need to take, you know, to make sure that they're prepared for the future of uh, broadband deployment? I think the most important thing is there is a big mental shift that uh, that you go through. And one of the things that I've seen that is um, that I think is still maturing in the cooperative space are the network designs. And the there's an idea, I think, mainly that the adding Internet is mainly just to add residential Internet access for uh, residential customers, the same customers that would consume electricity and small business customers. But in building a service provider, when you have access to that kind of infrastructure, when you have fiber and all of these different things at your disposal to blanket an entire area of of the country with um, with connectivity and access, it, it's helpful to think of it more like an asset and a service provider that can be used to deliver whatever kind of service you might be asked to deliver. When we build uh, ISPs that are that are not electric cooperatives that are from the ground up, um, usually they're looking at this like an asset because they want to be able to deliver SLA services to large businesses or uh, you know community police and fire, um, yeah. or maybe the cell tower companies want to come into that. So the biggest thing is to look at the network, um, to look at the network as a holistic service provider with the ability to deliver SLA services in addition to delivering just internet access to residential subscribers and once that's your design mindset then you can really make the right choices uh to enable that and not just build out internet connectivity uh you know just to people which don't get me wrong is very important but it can be much more than that more impactful in the community than just delivering the internet to people